What up boys and girls, Muzza Fuzza here back in Diablo 3 playing the beta. Once again, I'm on my level 13 monk and today we're going to be doing another one of those guides. We're going to be doing a passive skills guide for the monk. So I'm going to hit S and open up my skills menu. And uh, I've got my passive skills down here at the bottom. I've only got one passive skill unlocked because you get your first one at level 10, your second one at level 20, and your third at level 30 for a total of three passive skills. And then up here, I've got my active skills, which I've got four on right now. And uh, you can rune stone them and all that goodness. But today we're going to be talking about the passive skills. So I'm going to open up the passive skills menu. And it uh, looks like the monk doesn't have too many crazy amounts of passive skills. He's got 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 total passive skills. So a little bit less than we're used to on other classes. But uh, this is the Diablo 3 beta. It's not the full version of the game. So they might get more passives as time goes on and uh, when the full game releases. But without further ado, let's jump into it. The first passive skill on the monk is called Resolve. Damage you deal reduces enemy damage by 30% for 2.5 seconds. And the little quote at the bottom says, It is not our place to make demands of nature, nor to acquiesce to those who would. First we learn what is right, then we protect what is right. Master Wugan. And uh, basically this one, damage you deal reduces enemy damage by 30% for 2.5 seconds. So that's any damage you deal. Um, so basically anytime you're dealing damage, the damage of enemies that you're hitting is reduced by 30% for 2.5 seconds. So it's a good way to take down enemy damage, but I personally like doing lots more extra damage. So uh, I tend to focus on those types of things. Moving on to the second passive, it's called the Guardian's Path. While dual wielding, you gain a 10% chance to dodge incoming attacks. While using a two-handed weapon, all spirit generation is increased by 20%. No weapon can overcome the weakness of an undisciplined mind. They can only serve as an extension of the self. Waykeeper Zokrin. God damn, Blizzard just goes all out on these quotes. Uh, basically, I'm using a two-hander right now. I'm actually using a die bow, which is a big bow staff. Uh, right here, the vampiric spade of the hawk. And since I'm using a two-hander, that increases my spirit generation by 20%. If I was dual wielding, you get a 10% uh, increased chance to dodge, which is, uh, it's alright, but I, I don't really focus on dodge too much either. So I like the spirit regeneration. I think it comes in handy to uh, be able to regen spirit a little bit faster, because spirit is what you use for all your uh, big damaging attacks on the monk. Moving on to the third passive, Fleet Footed increases movement speed by 10%. Pretty basic, and the quote below it says, Strength out of place is no strength at all. And it doesn't even say who's uh, that quote from, or who that quote's from. So I'm just going to guess it's Buddha, because that's what it usually is, right? Right. Moving on to Transcendence. Every point of spirit spent heals you for 1.1 life. A life unlived is no different than death. Um, so every point of spirit that you spend heals you for 1.1 life. So if you use all your spirit, that's 1.1 times 150, which I'm not going to do the math on the spot, but uh, it's it's a decent amount, but it's not a huge amount because I've got 838 life total at level 13, and by the time you're in like your level 20s and 30s, you're going to have thousands of life. So it's not really too great of a passive skill, to be honest, but uh, that's transcendence. Moving on to Chant of Resonance. Duration of all mantras increased by 7 minutes. While one of your mantras is active, you gain one spirit every second. The world continues on the noble path, each of us carrying another, all connected, ever onward. Man, these, uh, these quotes are very unifying, very monk-like quotes, which is uh, why I guess they're on the monk class. But duration of all mantras increased by 7 minutes, usually mantras last 2 minutes, so this makes all your mantras last 9 minutes total, which is really nice. This is probably one of the most useful passives, and I would probably use this one, just because uh, you always want to have a mantra on as your uh, monk, because it goes on all your teammates as well, and it's very, very beneficial to have. So that is Chant of Resonance. Moving on to Seize the Initiative. Your armor is increased by 25% of your dexterity, and as a monk, your dexterity is... Uh, what gives you extra damage. Dexterity is the primary attribute for demon hunters and monks, so uh, this converts all 25% of your dexterity into armor, and uh, it's nice to have extra armor. You'll take a lot less melee damage. The monks of Ivgorod are trained to move like water, flowing freely into open spaces and crashing hard against their foes. And uh, that's actually like some weird dialogue from a Bruce Lee quote. If you guys follow Bruce Lee, he used to say, uh, move like water, friend, because water is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 
The next one is called Exalted Soul. Increases maximum spirit by 100. Spirit fuels your defensive and offensive abilities. Endeavor to be one with the hidden truth and you will soar beyond the sky. Way keep us, O Grin. So this gives you 100 more spirit, which is nice because uh, you start with 150. This will bring it up to 250, which means you can do a lot more stuff, like more cyclone strikes, more lashing tail kicks, more heals, more cool active skills. And if you guys haven't checked out the monk active skills, I did a monk active skills guide as well. And they're all in my uh, Diablo 3 playlist on my channel. So if you guys want more Diablo 3 videos, you can just check out that playlist. But as far as that passive skill goes, uh, it's just 100 extra spirit to play with. So... Pretty cool, probably one that I would uh, mess around with, but I don't know if it's the most useful, because now we're starting to get to the goodies. Moving on to Sixth Sense. Sixth Sense, that's a hard one to say. Your dodge chance is increased by an amount equal to 50% of your chance to crit. The final test of the serpent's form takes place in the pit of 12 vipers. The initiates are not told about the 13th. <laughs> Cool, there's a 13th Viper. Um, basically, whatever your chance to crit is, your chance to dodge goes up by 50% of that. And I don't know if there's an actual way. I guess we go to details. Yeah, you can check your chance to crit in here. Right now, my chance to crit is 5% straight up. So that means that my dodge chance would go up by 2.5% if I put on 6th sense. And uh, it's, it's all right, but 2.5% more dodge is probably not worth taking up one passive skill slot. So I wouldn't recommend that one. Moving on to pacifism, while stunned, feared, or charmed, all damage taken is reduced by 75%. So whenever you're put into stun, fear, or charm, which are all uh, crowd control effects, they're all CC, primarily probably going to be used on you in, uh, in uh, PvP, in arena, like when you're going up against other players. Uh, whenever you're stunned, feared, or charmed, all damage taken is reduced by 75%. So you're only going to take 25% of the damage you would originally take, which is really useful if uh, you're in PvP and they're all trying to focus you. Ascetic practices requires initiates to go without food, water, and sleep for months at a time. Those who survive emerge unmoved by the petty distractions of the physical world. And uh, that's pacifism for you, so we move on. Two, near-death experience. That's a cool name for a passive skill. When receiving fatal damage, you are instead restored to 35% of maximum life and 35% spirit. This effect cannot occur more than once every 90 seconds. We do not see what has been done. We only see what remains to be done. Mantra of the Monks of Evgorod. And I don't know who the Monks of Evgorod are, but they've got some badass quotes. Basically, if you ever take damage that's going to kill you, it doesn't kill you. You get a near-death experience, you get to keep your life, and you go back to 35% maximum life and 35% spirit. So that's basically just a lifesaver if you're going to be trying out some uh, really hard dungeons. That'll save your life, and that's going to be really useful in, like, uh, Inferno mode, which is the hardest difficulty mode in Diablo. And you got to be max level to even try out that mode, and max level is 60. So, yeah, moving on. Guiding Light. Whenever you use a direct heal on another player, you and the other player deal 16% more damage for 15 seconds. I thought I was done for, trampled in the snow. Suddenly I felt her hand on my shoulder. The warmth returned to my bones and together we repelled the beasts. Legends of the North. So anytime you heal someone, both you and the other player deal 16% more damage for 15 seconds. So like I said, uh, I don't know if I said it in this video, but I said it in the other video, the active skills guide for the monk. The monk is the primarily healer, or the primary healer in Diablo 3. So uh, you're going to want to have your healing on, your healing skill. And whenever you use it to heal another player with this passive on, you get 16% more damage for 15 seconds. So it's a good damage boost. It's a good incentive to get people to heal more. And uh, it kind of shows how the monk is going to be a really integral part of any uh, well-put-together Diablo 3 group. Moving on to one with everything. Your resistance to all elements is equal to your highest elemental resistance. So whatever elemental resistance you build up, whether it's frost resistance, fire resistance, uh, I think there's probably like electrical resistance or storm resistance, probably what they call it. Whatever your highest resistance is, all your other resistance equal that. So you can just focus into one resistance and build all your resistances with this passive, which is really useful um, for if there's dungeons that you're going to have to stack resistances to, um, which I'm sure there will be, just like in uh, Diablo 2. And the quote says, Ice hunters brave months of frozen darkness. Desert traders bear relentless scorching sun. The world is ours to endure. Pretty cool. 
Moving on to the last and final passive skill for the monk, it's called Combination Strike. Each different spirit generator ability you use increases your damage by 8% for 3 seconds. Nice. I love anything that has a damage boost. Uh, the quote below it says, Master Wugon was not merely the first to perfect the six techniques. His true accomplishment was in weaving them into a style all his own. God damn, these are some tongue twisters. I almost couldn't even pronounce that one. But uh, combination strike, each different spirit generator ability you use increases your damage by 8% for 3 seconds. So whenever you're using your spirit generators like Exploding Palm, which I've got on right now, or any of the other spirit generator techniques, it increases your damage from all techniques by 8% for 3 seconds. So it's another good damage boost. I would definitely use it. You get it at level 30, so it's probably your third and final passive skill that you would put on as a monk. And you guys, that ends this guide, this uh, passive skill guide for the monk class. I hope you guys are enjoying these Diablo 3 videos. Um, got lots of Diablo 3 videos still on the way. I've got all sorts of stuff to talk about. I hope you guys are excited about this game. If you like this video, leave me a like. Maybe add to favorites. Maybe drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the monk. And uh, if you guys want to check out more Diablo 3 videos, I've got a playlist on my channel with uh, lots of Diablo 3 beta videos. And on top of that, uh, I hope you guys have a good one. I hope you guys are enjoying these Diablo 3 videos and that uh, they are useful to you because I spend a lot of time putting them together for you guys. So with that, I will see you guys next time as I put on my mantra. And Cyclone Strike. And a Chuck Norris Roundhouse Kick. Yeah.